everybody, Damon here, uh, attacking you all with the third of my uh, Fender pedal reviews this week. Um, loving this, I've got to say, they're so well built, they're so roadworthy, but the thing that's really knocking me out is just how well thought out they are, how it's like they've packed in all the things that you're probably going to want uh, in a pedal, things that people ask for, player centric upgrades, if you will. Okay, so the trem verb, or tray verb, uh, as it's known, um, obviously one side is reverb, one side is tremolo, we have three reverbs, we have two springs, so we have a, a 63 and 65, which are a little bit different, and we have a plate reverb, which I love, I put plate reverb uh, uh, on everything. Um, and then on the other side we have an opto trem, we have a bias trem, and very cool, we have a harmonic trem as well, so some of those earlier 60s brown fender amps vibraluxes vibraverbs that kind of stuff i think it's coming from there a really cool sound uh, and almost a phaser rather than a than a trem but let's get started on the uh on the reverb side first so my basic clean sound is just uh strangely enough it's um it's like a cabernet <laughs> It's a car stuff. Uh, but with jazz master pickups. I've never really been into jazz masters. Never really understood what they were for. Um, but the pickups are really cool, so. So obviously we've got tone, we've got blend. Um uh, you know, and, and size of the reverb. So, you know, my only slight concern is that there's a huge amount of reverb. So I'll take the size down a little bit and keep the tone where it is. You know, you get a lovely kind of classic uh, Fender amp reverb. Okay, so first, let's just have a look at a basic kind of 63 reverb. Um, not too much blended in there, just a little bit. The size isn't too big, if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, and the tone is about halfway. <laughs> Increase the size a little bit. But still very, very usable. But if you're looking for mad ambient landscapes, landscapes or landscapes, landscapes, turn the blend up. So let's move on to the 65. Let's take the uh, size of the reverb and the, and the blend control down a little bit. So the 65, so I think is a little bit bigger. Sounds a little bit deeper to me than the, the 63. Maybe a little bit more subtle, this one. Bridge. No, 
I know this is all very clean, but I'm actually going to fire up the uh, EVH head, stealth head, and um, put it in the effects loop as well and see how it sounds. So that might be quite interesting. It might not, but we'll see. Uh, okay, let's let's max this out a little bit more on the 65 setting. <laughs> It's lovely, really. If you're really feeling really silly, you can do this. Which is very cool. It sounds great with open G, wouldn't it? A bit of slide. Oh, that might be next. Okay, then finally, plate reverb. Which, you know, plate reverb you can put on just about everything from guitar to vocals to keyboards. It's my go-to reverb generally. I think this one sounds really, really lovely. down a little bit. super tweakable really really high class delays delays that's a lie isn't it reverbs uh, as you would expect from fender um you know pretty much the people that invented it certainly uh, in amps so really really great one thing that i love as well i keep going on about how well thought out and how well designed these pedals are on the top there you can change the order of the effects so you can go trem into reverb or reverb into trem uh which i'll share in a minute is actually a really really different different sound um, so I think I might actually leave on a little bit of that plate because it sounds so good and at the moment we have reverb into trem also worth pointing out um, I don't know if you can see on the side here but it is stereo in stereo out so you, you can use it in the studio as well use it on keyboards etc etc all right let's uh, let's get some trem action going let's just everything as you would expect uh, so an intensity control and a blend control so this one the first one is our classic opto trem a fair amount of depth there LED that flashes in time with it, which is awesome. And I mean, if you if you want it a bit more subtle, let's reverse the path then. So there we have the trem going into the reverb. So you hear more of the attack of the note, more of the guitar, not quite so ethereal. Lovely, let's flick it back. Okay, so we can obviously crank up the time. 
subtly like that. Sounds beautiful. Okay, let's move on. I've just realised that was actually the opto setting. <laughs> I thought it was bias, but uh, uh, no, it was bias. That uh, Now this is the opto setting. Which you can hear straight away is a bit more aggressive. So the position, the knob is in the uh, upward position. So even though you've got quite a lot of effect on the guitar, you can still hear everything. It just it sits really, really well with the signal. You know, you can do this if you want. Move my pedal. There we go. The quality of the sound is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to flick the reverb uh, back to like a um, reverb from an amp. And here we have the mighty harmonic tram. I'll take, knock a bit of the reverb off because I know people will complain. Saying, oh, I can't hear the tram because there's too much reverb. Go a little bit bonkers with it if you want. So there we go, just a fantastically versatile pedal. 
um, stereo in, stereo out, three modes of reverb, 63, 65, spring, and the plate setting. Then you've got an opto trem, bias trem, uh, and the harmonic trem as well. So a really great investment. As I say, you know, you can use it in the studio as well for loads of stuff. I've put vocals through it and keyboards and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, yeah, really, really, really good. That's the Fender Treverb. It's Tremverb, I guess, isn't it? Um, released last year, I think, but a super, super cool pedal. Um, sounds great. Built like a tank, much like myself. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I've got a couple more of these to do. Um, I've got the big big reverbs and delays to do so i think i might have to go stereo and plug some big amps in for that but um yeah we'll see should be pretty cool these are these are great pedals okay thank you for watching i'll see you soon